And this unsettling crash has people living in the South Metro worried about the safety of their neighborhoods. It's also raising questions about one airline safety record in our state. First, let's get you through the timeline. The Rapo County Sheriff's Office says a mid-air crash was reported at 10.25 a.m. A single engine plane and a Key Lime airplane collided. The pilot was the only person on board the Key Lime plane. Tower, Key Lime 970, declare an emergency. We had, um, looks like the right engine failed, so I'm going to continue my landing here. Key Lime Air says its plane took substantial damage to its tail, but the pilot managed to land it safely. Seconds later, a warning that the second plane was going down. Tower, uh, there's another one. It's probably as true as that dropped the parachute. Tower, that was a definite midair. The single engine Cirrus plane is owned by Flight School. There were two people on board that one. And after the crash, they used that built in parachute to float the aircraft to the ground. Both escaped unharmed. The National Transportation Safety Board says first reports indicate the crash happened while both planes were landing. And this is a look at air traffic over Centennial Airport a few hours after that crash. And it might not have the massive scale of DIA, but it is one of the busiest general aviation airports in the country with aircraft coming and going near constantly. And while, as we said, nobody was hurt today, that does not stop neighbors from worrying. As Denver 7's Eddie Guajardo reports, technology and skill likely prevented tragedy today. It's the moment two planes collided in midair over Cherry Creek State Park. The right engine failed. Alan Rodriguez was working on the back deck of a home in the Lake Point Estate neighborhood in Inglewood when he heard a jolting sound in the sky. It was coming towards the house we were working on. His co-worker recorded this video of the plane going down in an open field. It scared us, to be honest. Did you see the crash? Howard lives near the airport. He's called this area home 20 years. He says his son witnessed the plane go down too igniting a new worry. The concern is that a plane will actually hit the house or hit someone's house um, around here. There's an emergency in progress. About a half mile. Sue says a single engine plane crashed near her home and a walking path she knows well. Yeah, we walk over there, so that's concerning. The parachute was directly in front of runway 35. Officials say the single engine plane and the cargo plane were trying to land on parallel runways at the Centennial Airport when one plane overshot the final approach. Centennial is one of the busiest airports in the country. Tyler Batchelder, an assistant professor of aviation and aerospace science at MSU Denver, says while risks for the crash increase during landing, these collisions are rare. Air traffic control will provide advisories as much as possible, but uh, really for any landing, uh, especially on days like today, we're relying on looking outside the airplane, looking for other airplanes in the area. It's unclear which pilot is responsible for the crash. That was a definite bit air. No one was hurt, but the damage is evident. The cargo plane miraculously landed at the airport with a gaping hole. To be able to uh, confidently get the airplane back on the ground, uh, they just had incredible skill. As for the Cirrus aircraft, he says it's one of the few models equipped with a parachute. It's an incredible safety feature that obviously saved their lives today. The National Transportation Safety Board and the Federal Aviation Administration is investigating the crash. The investigation could take up to a year before it wraps up. And it's truly a miracle that all three people involved in these plane crashes walked away alive and without injury. Tyler tells us this will allow those pilots to share their story and the aviation community to learn from their mistakes. In Centennial, Addy Guardo, Denver 7. Well, Denver 7 Investigates has been looking into the safety records one of the companies involved today. This plane operated by Key Lime Air. It's a cargo and passenger charter air service out of Inglewood. In 2003, five people were killed when a Key Lime flight and another plane collided over northwest Denver. In 2007, there was a near miss at DIA. 2014, a pilot was killed when his plane went down in a Centennial neighborhood. And then just a week after that, another flight made an emergency landing at Centennial Airport. A week after that, a plane went down to Kansas. Now, the other plane involved in today's crash is operated by Independence Aviation. That's a flight training school.